Howdy planner people, it's planning time. Um, I know that I said last week that I'm gonna do the video on Friday, but yesterday was such a stressful day, you can't believe it. I was at work way too long and um, then we went and um, visited a new flat we might move into and had a look at it and um, yeah, so I just couldn't make the video yesterday and Georgie wants to join again he slept the whole day and now he wants attention because he he knew that, that he can't get run it that a lot gosh okay sorry because Georgie knew that he can't get any attention at the moment because I'm filming mm. so the, it was a crazy week like I said I was way too long at work and yesterday was one of those days as well so i'm gonna do my plan with me on saturday and um i'm gonna do it similar to the week before but i did choose different um a different theme kind of um i'm gonna show you my last week spread that we did together like this this is like really light and springy and like really um, pink and light colors and for the next week from the 4th of March to the 10th of March I am going to go more in the artsy dark academy that kind of um, direction I did get some stickers for it I did cut some out and this is also from the PET tape my friend sent me and we're gonna use some watercolors as well. I did grab these both because they were in my watercolor um, brush case but I don't think we're gonna use them because they don't fit the seam at all. And what else did I get? The other thing I got are some washi tapes but I'm not sure if we are gonna use them. I think I want to stick with watercolor and um, the stickers. Um, but the other thing we have to decorate today is this little notebook. I did cut it myself and it went horribly wrong. You can see the edges are like totally flimsy and not straight. Um, this was a six and I did cut it down to pocket size. Yeah, can any of you imagine what's gonna come maybe? Um, yeah, so this is, we're gonna decorate the first page and just gonna write journal or something on it. Um, yeah, and then later on or in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it, what's going to happen to this little one. Um, yeah, I tried to cut it down to pocket size. I'm not sure if it is actually pocket or passport. I think I tried to cut it down to passport size, actually. Um, I'm not sure if it's the right size because I don't have any um, cover or binder here that I can compare it to and that I can try it out. I just took the measurements from the website and... Um, try to cut it to size yeah so this is what we're gonna decorate as well um, but first we are gonna start with the week from March 4th to March 10th and you know what I forgot you guys what I just realized in this moment I forgot to do a monthly setup with you but I'm not prepared yet <laughs> To do it with you so we are gonna do it um, in the upcoming week I promise but I totally forgot to do the monthly setup with you because um, the B6 planner at the moment is like not my best friend and um, I fairly use it so yeah but with the change in decoration wise you know with not using the that much stickers and kits it is more fun I have to say but it's still it is not what it was from the beginning of the year you know it's I don't know it's not that safe space and happy feeling I don't know why it, that is but I used B6 since I think 2020 October 2020 or something I changed into a B6 notebook and used it for bullet journaling and I'm in B6 now for four years, three, four years. And um, maybe it's just too long, you guys. Maybe sometimes you have to change 
sizes and I, I can't see where I have to cut this stupid thing. Um, so maybe you sometimes you have to, um, oh sorry, I have to concentrate cutting this butterfly. Um, what do you want to say? Yeah, maybe you have to adapt your planning system to your life and not try to adapt your life to your planning system. <laughs> yeah, so exciting times. Um, a friend of ours just came to us in this week and told us out of nowhere that they are going to move and that we can have their flat and um, it's only two houses apart from ours at the moment, like two minutes by feet and um, it's perfect. It's one room more than what we always wanted because we only have two um two rooms like one living room and one bedroom and a small kitchen and a small bathroom and um so with this we have one more spare room which we can do a guest room of or um like a planning room like my planning corner will be there and my boyfriend's um gaming corner he will have his own little desk and computer and stuff there and um i will have my planning corner in there and we will have like a spot for guests to crush like a couch and um so we have always a spare bed for them mm. in a spare room because at the moment when my little sister is coming to visit me over christmas that's what she does every year um <clears throat> she has to sleep on the couch in the living room and the cats wake up in the middle of the night and we wake up and it's just too noisy and it's better if she has her own room um, in case she wants to come by like spontaneously or even over the Christmas holidays. So that's what's happening in the next couple of months I guess um, and it's really exciting because in Cologne you have to have luck guys. This You can't just go and look at the flat, you will not have any opportunity on getting this flat because everything is based on the connections that you have if you know the landlord or if you know who know someone who knows the landlord and all this kind of stuff you 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 just it's just impossible to um rent a flat and the rent is so high it it, it like re has risen in the last couple of years immensely um yeah Okay, back to planning and enough chatting, I guess. I'm gonna start with this greyish taupe kind of color. I'm just gonna do what I did last week. And I'm just gonna start with some circles here and there. Oh, this is like really dark, but I love how it fades. Some circles here and there and um, yeah. Okay, maybe I just took too much color. It's more like a brownish gray than really grey when you um, don't put so much colour on your brush. Okay. And um, yeah, so as I told you, I just couldn't couldn't do the video yesterday. And now we are going to use this dark purple lavender colour, which I already used last week, but I think with this greyish tone and it will have like a totally changing appearance on paper just some dots here and there and i like when the colors differ differs from how much you have on the brush and it doesn't have to be like circular dots it's just it's just fun you know and i love that i found my way back into um to watercolor even if it's just dots on paper, but it's still a bit artsy and a bit creative and um, it's more creative than putting stickers in a way, you know? Um, I don't know. It's only dots on paper, but for me it feels that way. So the other color that we're going to use from this palette, I'm going to show it again, is mm, what fits, what fits this color theme? Maybe the dark blue or this one, no. I think we're gonna stay with the dark colors in this palette and um, later on we are gonna go onto the same page with some um, with with the 
shiny color with the um, metallic shiny colors and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bit of color I'm gonna color in the days of the week again I don't want to take too much so I don't but you still can't say the dates I will I will rewrite the days so I don't have to see the days but so you have to see the dates <laughs> so I know what date it is okay great so yeah I'm really excited for that to happen the moving uh, but we are not sure yet if it's gonna happen you know it was just an offer from a friend and we still have to see we are not we don't have a contract or anything it's just that we got an offer and we said yeah let's do this but it's not set in stone yet but maybe next week or something then I'm gonna tell you about it for sure so that's great and what else do I want a bit more no I think I'm gonna go in with the metallic colors now and see how they can comprehend the colors on paper so what am I gonna do I think I want to do this grayish greenish brownish color I want to cover it with a green like the shine green the metallic dark green how many different names did I find for this color <laughs> in a second and um, with this you have to have like re a lot of color on your brush with this it just a little dip in the color and it's like really pigmented but with this you have to like rub the brush into the color so you have a bit of <coughs> metal shiny on this brush so and I think I'm just gonna add a little circle like overlaying this and then the colors mix a bit and yeah okay I like that okay great so we're gonna do the same here so we just have this little shine and glamour on the page and I love how they look together so <clears throat> What color are we gonna pair the other, this light, like this, this lavender bluish and this dusty rose color? So, what are we gonna pair them with? So, dusty rose, light rose, or the darker one? I'm gonna call, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pair the lavender bluish tone with the blue i think i think with the blue do i want it would i want this because this is too similar i think oh it's something totally different i don't know i think i'm gonna pair it with the blue that was my first instinct so i'm gonna follow it <coughs> um. <coughs> <coughs> neither fred nor george want to be in the video today i just have thrown my jellyo box on the floor and um, Fred just jumped into it and is sleeping in it at the moment okay yeah great I love it it's too light I think it might might be too light but I like it it's too light for the theme I'm going for but it's fine I'm just gonna just gonna do it this way and now now what are we gonna do now we're gonna use the light the light rosé for the pairing color with the dark dusty rose and later on we are gonna add some the stickers that i just shown you and um see how it goes right oh my gosh you have to okay maybe that's enough i hope i did wash all the blue out guys okay this is adorable but you see i haven't got enough color on the brush so you can't barely see the color so i'm going to go back at it again and see if i can get a bit more color on the brush now 
Okay, no, I think it's just too light. I don't know. But I love the combination. Yeah, great. Okay. That's it with the dots. That's it with the dots. I'm just gonna wash out the pans for pan brush and gonna put the cup on it again. But it's just gonna go here. And now we are gonna go in and at the days of the week with my fountain pan and in there is oh my gosh, it's wet. Okay. Um in there is an Earl Grey Diamine ink and I think it will fit beautifully in this same Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Okay, great. Yeah, I like it. I like how this turn is turning out and I like how this is coming together. So let's see. Okay, I think we are missing a bit a spot here, aren't we? Because then we have a bit background for this girl. Okay, I'm gonna definitely gonna put the watercolor box here somewhere. I I really wanted um the pink combination. I'm gonna put it here. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut off the this oh this is like <laughs> This is a scissor for my cat's toenails. Yeah, I don't know why it's in my pan box. I'm just gonna cut this tiny bit off. So we lose a bit of the brush, but that's fine. So we can just put this one here. So it's, you know, you still can see. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut this off as well. Okay, we're gonna do this and then we see where we place this beautiful girl and later we are going in and um, okay, Now you can see later we're going in and writing everything that's um, on my schedule for next week Okay, So right this way okay yeah great it fits beautiful in here so can't know this must be too much can we place her, her here maybe so we have a little space on the ground do I need space on the bottom we also have her these are too big are they two of them are too big I think but I love her I love her with the brown and the green um, I think I love her more than her, do I? Okay, yeah, just gonna put her away and put her in here. Mm, is there something missing on the bottom? What do you think? Is there? I think there's something missing. Um, so I'm gonna get my brush again. That's the cool thing about watercolor, you just can. Georgie, hey! Don't ruin my picture, please. Baby, I know you want some attention, but I can't give it to you at the moment, guys. Oh my gosh. No. Yeah. Das werde ich nicht. Oh, did I lose a sticker? No, no, she's still here. What did I lose? Something just fell down. Don't know what. Don't know. Yeah. Okay. We just ignore it. We just ignore it. I'm gonna go just with the green, I think. Just gonna put a little more of metallic green on the page. And I'm 
and we're just gonna let it dry for a few seconds <clears throat> Well, the amazing thing about Jumbo River paper is that the watercolour dries like immensely fast. Not as fast as on watercolour paper, to, to be honest, but it dries so fast and I just love the crinkling sound that it makes as soon as it's dry. Um, and what I want to have on the page as well is this house. I really want to have it on the page. I just don't know where. Maybe here. But then this is like totally on the same height. This, this looks beautiful. I'm going to place it here. Yeah. So you have like both color combinations. And the blue and purple is like a bit standing out, isn't it? I still have this pot, flower pot. Yeah, great. Okay, I'm going to place this here. I'm going to place her here. Okay, I love it. So I have enough space to write you know most of the time i'm only at work the whole day so um this is enough space but we have a few spot here a few spot there maybe we're gonna add her do i want to do i want to have it this coverage do i want this guys so i don't have any space to write anymore maybe like this And her, yeah, I want her here definitely. Yeah. Maybe this here. Mm, oh, I think I like it better down on the bottom. Hi, Georgie, baby. Oh my god. Ooh. Do I need another sticker, maybe? I, I don't know where I put the washi, to be honest. We're just gonna wait until it's dry until this is dry this is already dry and we're gonna place the flower pot here oh i love it okay i'm happy that i made use of the purple and the blue and we're gonna place the house on the bottom and on the top sorry guys I'm just going to put it on my hand first so it loses a bit of the stickiness and I can't place it correctly. Like this. Okay, yeah, great. Oh, I love it. I love how this is turning out. And now we have her. This beautiful girl. Yeah. Okay, so I lose a lot of space on the page, guys, but that's fine. I want her in both greens like this perfect oh my gosh i love how this is turning out how this is kind of coming together this doesn't fit there at all but she doesn't fit here as well does she i think that's fine and we have just leave the two spaces blank great so <clears throat> I think that's it with the decoration part of this video and now we're just gonna add my work times and what other stuff is going on next week so um I have to be at work at 8 30 work on Tuesday the um, public transport system is on strike they are not moving they didn't move the whole day from friday to uh from thursday to friday <clears throat> so we ha i had to walk like a, i don't know a really really long time to the next train station and in the morning a colleague came and picked me up but in the evening i had to go by train and uh it was horrible because the public transport system is a different system from from the train system and um okay i think you were like a bit crooked the whole video down there um <clears throat> so you can take the train um but you can't take public transport like metro you can't take the metro um and that sucks it sucks a lot because in cologne nearly everything depends on the metro um 
Yeah, and it's just annoying, but if they don't fight for their rights, so they don't have anything, right? Mm. So it sucks for me and for <laughs> a lot of people, um, but it's good for them. Yeah, so. Um, but it's on Tuesday. Is it on Tuesday? I think it's on Tuesday and Wednesday. So on Monday I have to figure out how I can get to work on Tuesday. Work and that's an ugly K. It doesn't matter. Okay, work. Um and it's work and work. Saturday and Sunday I am um, on Sunday, I'm going to meet some friends. <clears throat> and um, on Saturday, I'm going to go to the gym, guys, I think. Gym. And I'm going to try another day in this week go to the gym but i will be really spontaneous about it um maybe they will uh renew their strike on thursday or something so they don't so there will be no private transport so sometimes they do this so we will just see and i'm happy if i get to work on monday on time um it's at 2015 I'm always watching who's going to be a millionaire because it is my addiction. I don't know why. It's like I'm an 18 year old granny. But I don't know. I just have to watch it. If it's on TV, I have to watch it. I don't know. And it's most of the time on Monday. Um, Sometimes it's got to be replaced by another stupid uh, Finding Brights uh, series or something. But um, yeah. If it's on TV, it's on Monday, and yeah, I hope for that. So, what else, guys? What else? Um, I don't know. Um, let's check my monthly. I'm not really a monthly viewer, you boys. I know that I have. Oh my gosh. Okay, on Tuesday, I have a gynecologist appointment, but I don't know when. What time? I think it's around five o'clock. I'm just gonna write down. Oh, totally wrong. It doesn't matter. Um, for seventeen, I'm gonna call on Monday again and see what time my appointment is. And um, I don't know. I think. That's it. Meet up with my friends, go to the gym, doctor's appointment, work and public transport as on strike. Yeah, great. Um I have a lot of space on Thursday and Friday, so maybe I'm gonna find something to do after work, but I'm always so exhausted after work that um yeah, I nearly never have any energy to do something after that. But what I have to show you is I added these super adorable bookmarks from um, Muji. I We have a Muji in Cologne and when I saw these bookmarks, they come in a pack of five. Um, I just had to get them. And um, just recently, I did add one of those to my B6 to hope that I fall a bit more in love with it as more as I use it. Um, don't get me wrong, I love this planner, I really do, but it's just not working out anymore, I don't know why, I really can't tell you why, that's the problem I have, I can't tell you why, it's just not, I don't know, it's, it's not, it just doesn't feel right anymore, but I love this planner, I love the paper, I love the layout, so we will see how my other um system is going to work for me and what i'm going to do for a setup and um then 
we will decide but i will keep you updated and will um show you what's on the way for me um but so what i told to tell you in the beginning that we have to decorate this page right the first page of my journaling little notebook in passport size so that's what we're going to do now this was my plan with me and my b6 and i think i'm going to put a timestamp so you can um push move forward to the setting up of the first journaling page of this little guy so what do we have here do i want to use some washi i don't know i think i do i think i don't want to work with um, some watercolor in this notebook because it's just really ugly paper. I just have it um, to try the size, you guys. Um, no, I want to have it in the right direction. Okay, like this. I'm gonna add this here to have like kind of a little border. Why do I have like can you feel the love tonight from Lion King is in my heart? I don't know. Mm, I want the washi straight. I don't want any bubbles. So we're going to do this. And we are going to add some of these cute stamps. Oh, I also wanted to add this washi. I'm just gonna add this to the top and to the bottom. Oh my gosh, it's so cute to decorate a tiny notebook like this. You just need so less <laughs> of washi tape and all the other stuff. You, it's so cute. It's like really, <clears throat> you save on resources, you guys. Let me see if I can. I I I didn't plan to work with washi, so I didn't get my my um washi cutter. So I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm gonna cut it off here. Okay. Did I? Did I? Okay. Here and. What else? I thought that we're going to go add this little stand. That's what we're going to do. I do have my super amazing glue pen. Oh my gosh, it's still working. Bless God. I'm not, I don't believe in God, but this is like the coolest invention anyone ever made. This is so amazing. And right at the moment, I'm just playing with the pen because I love it. <laughs> Put it much glue on it as it needed more more glue than should it needs but yeah just gonna add this little stamp here like this and i want another stamp do i want the dragonflies or the butterflies i do have a butterfly there so i'm gonna add the dragonflies on the bottom come on <clears throat> this this was also in the happy mail that my friend sent me glue stick glue pen um this is amazing it feels like you're writing or drawing something sketching um it's really convenient i love it maybe i have to get a few myself so we're gonna add this here like this so we have a bit space here and i still have this girl i'm gonna add the her here yes i'm gonna do it maybe like this yeah like this Oh, the washi I use, this one is from Rust Bubble Designs. This is her Black Friday. If you go over 100 euros or 100 dollars, you get this washi for free. And that's what I did. So I did get this washi. 
I want to have a bit of those stamps. Maybe I don't want to add a straight out of it. This. Yeah, great. So we have like space to write journal in here. But do I want to do it the regular way and just write it down or do I want to do it different? Maybe just add these little paper dots. Like three or four of them and just write journal on it. I don't want any white space. I'm just realizing that now that I don't like the white space with all the vintagey vibes. But the good thing is I do have enough of these little paper thingies. Now it's stuck to my finger. Okay. I think I'm going to do it like this. It's not, it doesn't bother me when there's like tiny, tiny bit white space. Um, glue pen here. So, like. This and we're gonna add this blank one so we have a bit space to write. It's getting dark, it's getting dark. But spring is coming, winter is gone, spring is coming, you guys. I'm so looking forward to spring. Um, can we do that? Can we get it up again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like this and the other one, so I have a bit more writing space. Mm. Yeah, like this. I have absolutely no idea how much is in these glue pens. I don't think there's a lot of glue in it, but it will work for a bit. Okay, like this. And now we're gonna add this to the top so we don't have so much white space. And then I'm gonna write journal number one in it or something. I feel really inspired right now. Okay, that makes me so happy. Oh, it makes me happy to feel inspired again. Great. Okay, like this. So, and uh, now we're just gonna go and get our fountain pen. Or do I want to do it fancy? No, I want to keep it classy. I want to keep it classy and just straight. Journal. For a moment, I thought that I maybe want to use my stamps or something but I don't no so so no spades true Typo. Well, it's not a typo when you when you write it by hand, right? Or is it a typo too? To number one. Can I put twenty twenty four somewhere? Maybe just 24. Okay, so this is my journaling page in passport size. Now I realize that this page is blank. It doesn't matter. This is my first journal for in passport size, um, which I cut down from A6. And um, yeah, so, okay, Jordi wants some attention again. <laughs> 
damn it. Okay. Um, so this is what we did for this plan with me. We did plan out our upcoming week. Um, this is monsters. So we did plan our upcoming week from March 4th to March 10th. And we did do another exciting thing. We did uh, decorate the first page of my journal. And I love how the ink uh, gets messy and gets dry. I really like how this looks. Okay, great. So that's what we did. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. And it was like, and um, that was like really long. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks for staying with me and thanks for watching it. Bye.